First of all, I take this opportunity to express my solidarity to the agitating bank employees of the country for the purpose of strengthening the public sector banks. It is the right time by which we have started this agitation. The sole purpose of this mass dharma or agitation in front of the parliament and in front of the banking sector. The sole purpose is to protect and strengthen the public sector banking system in the country. Normally the employees, whether they belong to ABA or PC or whatever be the union or the offices association, Normally, we were all agitating for the causes of the bank employees, especially their waste structure and their amenities, allowances and all these issues. But now, this is the right time to rise up to the occasion so as to protect the public sector banks, to strengthen the public sector banks, to bring back the confidence of the people of this country in the public sector banks. If there is no war, you can never write or you can never draw the picture. That is the situation prevailing in our country. It is not the time to demand for the waste structure. Yes, definitely we are for it, but at, this, at the same time, even the basic existence of the public sector banking structure, public sector banking system is under threat. And now, Taking advantage of the bank scam, Punjab National Bank, Nemo scam. Taking advantage of this scam, Asocham and Fiki. Immediately after the scam and the scandal has come out in the media, both in the electronic media and the print media, the first demand raised by the Asocham and the Fiki was all these bank scams of Behul Choski and Nira Modi and all these things have happened only because the banking, the prime banking sector in the country is in the public sector. So it is the right time to privatize all the public sector banks so as to avoid or so as to have an end to all these bank scams. This is the demand of the Asocham and the King. See how interestingly this slogan or this demand can be taken into account. Who is responsible for all these scams of Punjab National Bank and Oriental Bank of Commerce, all these scams? See, if we I am not going to the details of the scam because we are not able to speak within the parliament. The first day from 5th onwards, March 5th onwards, today it is the 13th day of the parliament session, second session of the budget. You see what is the parliamentary democratic system which is prevailing in our country. 12,400 crores of rupees has been taken away by Nirav Modi and Mahul Choski and now they are leading a luxurious life in United States of America and in other European countries. The parliament, which is the will of the people, is not able to discuss, not able to debate, not able to mention even about the big scam which the country has ever seen. That is a PNB, Nemo scam, which is not being discussed in the parliament means. What is the purpose of the parliament? So deliberately the government led by Sri Narendra Modi, very deliberately, purposefully avoiding a debate, discussion in the parliament regarding the Nero Modi scam. Because so many new things will come out in the parliament and it will come out in the public domain. So very deliberately and cleverly now they are disrupting the house. Using all India, Anna, DMK and the Trinor, TRS, the Telangana, Ratri, Samudhi. And even Telugu Desham party, all the parties which were supporting the government is disrupting the parliament. Not even able to discuss the no confidence motion against the government. And everything is being, if you see, even the parliament disruption is also a state sponsor disruption of the parliament by the government for avoiding such discussion in the parliament. This is the thing happening in our country. See, if you see examine, we have given a adjournment motion. 
And we have given one night for motion with voting. The government is not ready to discuss the Punjab National Bank scam. We say what is why? What which prevented them? What prevented them? And finally, they have made a motion is being corrected in a way. Systemic failure of the banking system in the country. Not about the scam, not about the Punjab National Bank. Systemic failure means the government means this is not any political manipulation, political corruption, nothing is there. It is only because of the system's failure. All these camps have taken place. So that has to be discussed on the road entry. The way by which the things are being politically manipulated by a government, when a big scam of the Punjab National Bank and other banks have taken place, the way it is being addressed by the government can be very well understood by this episode alone. So in such a condition, in such a situation, this Asocham and Fiki and all of the corporate entity are asking for the privatization of the banks. See, just now, Comrade Tapanson, he has stated about the FRDI bill. See, in the FRDI bill, also of financial resolution and depositors insurance bill 2017, if you examine it, it is also another route of legislation by which the public sector banks can be privatized. You know very well that the SBI Act, State Bank of India Act, a very specific provision is there in the SBI Act that nowhere this SBI can be liquidated. There is no provision in the SBI Act by which the State Bank of India can be liquidated. If you go through the provisions of this FRDI bill, Financial Resolution and Depositors Insurance Bill 2017, even the State Bank of India can be liquidated, and not only liquidation, it can further it can be handed over to the private sector. This is the that is the bail-in clause. I'm not going to the details. Bail-in clause and the health clause. Because for the politically manipulative fraud committed by the politicians and some officials or some higher hierarchy of the banking sector for which the depositors and creditors have to be penalized, that is why which this provision has been incorporated in the FRDA bill. And this way the public sector banking is under threat and even in the merger. I am very happy to hear from See, Sri Arun Jaini today when your leaders have met him, Sri Venkatrajalam, Comrade Venkatrajalam, he has just mentioned me. Arun Jaini has given an assurance. What is the assurance? There is no way privatization of the public sector banks is in our agenda. That has been assured by Mr. Arun Jaini in front of the union leaders. It's a good thing if it is possible. But what about the SRDI bill? What about the merger which have taken place? Six banks have already been merged. Even our Kerala State Bank of Travancore has been merged with the other banks. And what has happened after merging SPG with SBI? Was there any performance improvement or efficiency improvement or fiscal improvement or the health of the banking system has been improved? You tell to the people, no, nothing has been far happened but Akua is affected there. I'm not going to the details. So, the further the sole motto of the government is to privatize the public sector banks for which this scam also, this Punjab National Bank, Niram Modi scam also taking as a weapon so that these public sector banks are inefficient, incapable of doing business. Fraud is being committed in the public sector banks. So, it is better to have the privatization of the banks. So, that policy has to be opposed by tooth and nail, and that is the basic purpose of this dharma. And also, to make the banking system more efficient, and more transparent, and also so many other penal provisions which are being incorporated in the banking sector by way of service and the Lord, the people are slowly losing the confidence of the banking system. They want to discredit the banking, the public sector banking system. For the service that has been imposed, so many penal provisions has been imposed, and by which the poor creditors and the poor depositors and the poor customers of this country will also lose the confidence in the public sector banks, 
and that's why the public sector gap banks can be privatized by discouraging the public sector banks. So it is a deliberate, intentional move on the part of the government to privatize the bank, to make the banks inefficient, and thereby handing over to the private banking sector. So we should stand together to protect the health of the public sector banks and to maintain the public sector banks and the public sector itself and for which and also I have fully agree with the demand which is being made by the United Forum of Bank Indians that a parliamentary committee should probe into the matter of this Punjab National Bank scam. Because now what is the investigation which is going on? See this political intervention is there that has to be examined whether the CBI Central Bureau of Investigation or any intelligence mechanism is able to go into the aspect of political manipulation and the political intervention in the public of the Punjab National Bank scam, it is absolutely not possible, we are all now. So definitely a parliamentary committee should be constituted so as to probe into the matter and let the matter come, the, let the truth come out for which a joint parliamentary committee has to be constituted. See, if you see the letter of undertaking is given, first the government has said that these are all at the time of the UPA government. You have started and we are now facing the sin. We are, the results of the sin are being faced by this government. But if you examine, after the 293 letter of undertakings issued by the Punjab National Bank, 143 letter of undertakings were given from March 1st, 2017 onwards. From 2011 onwards, total it is 293 LOUs were issued by the Punjab National Bank. Out of which 143 LOUs were issued from March 1st, 2017 onwards. What is the reality? Whether there is political manipulation or intervention is there, who has to prove it? whether intelligence or the CBI Central Bureau of Investigation. So we demand that, in Parliament also we are demanding that a joint parliamentary committee has to be constituted to probe the matter and bring out the facts before the public domain so that this will not be repeated. And also we demand that effective steps and measures should be taken so as to check the fraud and all these fraudulent activities in the public sector banks, the fraud committed is not because of the fault of the public sector bank, not because of all the support.